What's up, freaks? I wanna go through and show you a ton of different ways that you can find alternatives if you don't have equipment to work out at home because this is the world we're living in right now. This is how we're gonna get through this. This is how we're still gonna go forward with your goals and continue to get in the best shape of your life, continue to boost your metabolism, continue to stay positive, continue to keep your body healthy and fit and strong and your immune system up and continue to move charging forward towards your goals and success. So if you don't happen to not have any equipment at home, now first I would suggest you always have, in just, it's just in general, in, in everyday life, have a you know, pair of dumbbells, maybe a kettlebell, a stability ball, a medicine ball, and some bands at, at the minimum, just that stuff. But if you don't have any of that stuff, don't worry. You could still join every single training session we're doing online. And I'm gonna show you tons of variations of what you can use. So you, I don't even have a gallon jug because I just don't have gallon jugs. If you have a gallon jug, those are, those are eight pounds. A gallon of water weighs eight pounds. That is, a, that is a good amount for high rep stuff, pumping out some curls, pumping out some presses. So think about that, gallon of jugs. If you need some light, light dumbbells, for say boxing, perfect way to do that. You don't, you don't even need gloves. Look, I have uh, two bottles of vitamin water zero and I'm throwing punches. These are, how many are, how many are these? 16 ounces, 20 ounces? So these are 20 ounces. These are slight, a little more than a pound each. So you could be sitting here. This is gonna wear you down doing your boxing. That's all you need. A bottle, bottles of water in each hand. Different types of jugs. So any kind of fluid, any kind of jug is gonna work. I like this better even than the gallon jugs. It might, it, it weighs a little less, but it has this strange type grip, if you can see it. So I'm actually having to grip it here and getting two of these for presses, for curls, for stuff I need some light dumbbells for. And you do enough reps of them. Listen, we're not, you don't need some heavy, heavy weight, but we will give you some heavy weight options also. A couple of different things that I've done. I've taken a backpack, filled it up with some clothes. So whether or not you want to slam this on the floor, you could, uh, that's the, you could fill it with clothes, you could fill it with books, depending on what exercise you're doing, you could fill different backpacks up with different weights. This is just filled with some, some soccer balls. So this would be for a slam. I could actually slam this on the floor if I needed to, or I could just go through the motion of a slam. I could also throw it. If it was an exercise that I was throwing up in the air, I could actually throw this up and add as much weight as I need to. Some exercises need some plyo movements. Another one I've, I've been using, and again, you fill it up with whatever materials, whatever weights you need. It could be cans in there, it could be water in there, a tennis bag. Perfect, because of the way that it's fit, look at this, I could sit here and do a row. I could put it behind me and do a single arm press. There is always a way to make this shit happen, is if you're just staying positive, thinking outside the box, and finding a way to make it happen and not making any excuses. I could sit and just hug this for my weighted squat right here. So many ways you could do it. I could do an unbalanced squat, holding it on one arm. So something like this, different shapes of bags, any kind of bags you have. I've seen the collections of some of those purses and shit that a lot of you have. This is just in the garbage bag just to show you, but it could be in a pillowcase or whatever, just clothes. Again, just for weight. This could be for tossing up and catching. If it was in, it could, you could do it even in a garbage bag, so we're not gonna slam this one because it would rip. If it was in a pillowcase, you could actually even lift it up and slam it. This is a few, this is just like a, the weight of a medicine ball, but you know what? It's actually a little different. The weight shifts around, different shape, uneven grip. It's gonna make you work your core and your legs a little differently. Shit that you're not used to, and you'll probably actually get even more sore. There's, you can lay on your back and use these things for presses. Another one, you can go from small to large luggages, right here. This luggage right here, again, I could sit and do a bent over row with weight in here, like crazy. I can hold it here, I can hold it, here and press it up. Look, it's even in front of my face. I can still keep my posture and do a shoulder press. Depending on the weight, I can do a bicep curl with it. And you can see I'm getting the full range. Look, my arms are fully extended. I'm gripping it here. It's a different kind of grip too. So it's gonna challenge you in different ways. I can lay on my back, just pretend I'm just gonna, not gonna do it for the video, but I could press it out laying on my back. Depending on how much weight's in there, I can make this pretty damn heavy. You can even get a bigger luggage for a heavy set. You wanna do a heavy set of bench press? It's gonna be a great way and a different feel and weight shifting around sometimes a little bit, which is totally fine. Something like this right here, which, which serves a dual purpose. These are car to jumpstart your car. They also have a, a, a different power source for filling up air tires with air, has outlets in here. So even if there was a power outage, you should always have some of these in your house. If you don't, these weigh, I don't even know, more than 10 pounds each, probably 15, 20 pounds each, somewhere around there, 18 pounds maybe. Again. I could use these for so many different things 
speed, bent or rose, those, those latch in, they're just not last now, those, those charger things. So if I zap myself, whatever. I can even use this, look at this. I'm doing a kettlebell swing with this. Like there's so many ways you can do this. I haven't, some things aren't gonna work, like a clean or whatever, not gonna work. So certain kettlebell type exercises might not work. That's why I do suggest you get at least a dumbbell or two. Always, you should always have that at your house. So we're gonna go around and show you some other things. Like, look at this. Like if you have any step stools, perfect for a step up, something like that. You need a higher step. You have shit all around your house. You just don't realize. You're just not thinking outside the box. A cooler. This is a pretty heavy duty cooler. This can handle my weight, holding my 185 pounds or whatever. No problem. As long as it's sturdy. Of course, test it out and whatever. So many different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you a couple more things. It's going to pause this for a second. Red. So you could take two simple chairs throughout your house. So many different ways you can use these. Look, I could sit and go in between them for a tricep dip. If you're advanced, you could find ways to even do a real dip. If you can see down to my feet, angle, the, angle it down. I'm in the air, I'm actually doing a bodyweight dip. On me, please. Right there, so you could do a, a dip here. You need to look at it. A dip here. So look, I'm here. I'm here, you can see my feet also, that they're on the floor. Again, I could be up in here. You could have, and the, and the chairs, it could be folding chairs, it could be any kind of chairs, whatever. I'm just showing you these. The different heights are gonna help different ways. A chair can help you for modified squats if you can't do a squat, a little lower chair than this, obviously. You can get used a chair for a push-up, a modified push-up. You can do push-ups right off a chair if you wanna do high reps of push-ups. I do these all the time. I do, I do assisted push-ups like this a lot. If I wanna get, long, long sets or keep going after a hard round. I'll do that. Check this out. You can find underneath a table anywhere and I could do an inverted row. Make sure it's secure. Obviously, you're not breaking it. You could bend your knees, make it a little harder. If you don't have a TRX, if you have a TRX, obviously you would use it for there, but you can do a bent over row under there. If you have anywhere to hang, monkey bars, kids bars outside, you could do pull-ups. I've done pull-ups on freaking hotel What's it called? The closet, the, the bars in a closet. I don't know if you should do that at your home because I have ripped some out of the walls in hotels before, but there's always a way to find, to get, to get your training in, to get the equipment you need to do these exercises, to stay in shape, to stay fit, to stay healthy. So if you have stairs in your house, maybe you don't have stairs, maybe you do have stairs. Crazy work you could do in stairs, even just a short flight of stairs, long flight of stairs, whatever. I'm gonna unmic here just to show you. While my assistant holds this, right there and you can see i'm just gonna sprint up these stairs and come right back down it's work it's exercise this is this is what you need to do and and in addition to all these other ways that i'm showing you that you could do this training the number one piece of equipment you need the number one piece of equipment you need first Starts right freaking here. Your mind, your positivity, your brain, your thinking. You're thinking outside the box. You're always finding excuses. And the real piece of equipment you need is just your freaking body. Unlimited amount of shit you can do with your body, as you see in, in these training sessions we're doing. You could do a different workout every day of the week. You could do a workout in an empty elevator and get in the best shape of your life. Guaranteed. If you have the right coaching, the right guidance, the right technique, the right corrections, the right cues, the right modifications. And this is exactly what we're going to help you with on all of these training sessions. So... If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. If you have any other ideas that are in your house, I mean, this is just the basics. There's so much stuff. If you go look around your house, you can find millions of ways. I just wanted to give you a couple ideas to get your brain rolling. That And today's workout that I'm doing here live on Zoom is only going to use this type of equipment. I'm not going to use any dumbbells, any kettlebells. Of course, you can use them if you have them, but I'm going to use all these alternate pieces of equipment, even though I have the dumbbells and kettlebells, just to show you the sick, crazy workout you can get with the shit you find laying around your house. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.